Hi everybody. All right, here is the long-awaited desk tour. Um, I get this question a lot, um, asking for what's on my desk or kind of going through the contents. And I think now is a good time for me to do that because I am moving again. Uh, seems to be a habit of mine. And I... I really like this setup. I'm kind of sad to have to dissemble it, um, but I'm sure I'll be able to do something similar to what I have right now. And so I wanted to do this so I can share, because um, I know this is a highly requested video, and that way I can, you know, just have something to look back on, because I I really enjoy how everything kind of worked out uh, this time around because this is the first time I have a whole like flat desk. Before I've always had, I used to have a really cool antique one that opened up and it had a bunch of drawers on the inside but the writing surface was very small. And then I used to have the ones with the big hutches, you know, the ones that everybody had back when they were students and, you know, high school or something. And so this was the first year that I really had my ideal desk. And so I'm going to give you an overview here. The chair and the desk go together, and that's from World Market, um, or Cost Plus as some people call it. And it is the campaign desk and chair. And the reason why I liked it was because it just had the one single drawer right there and then just one big wide surface, which is, in my opinion, the ideal situation because I like to have a lot of different personal items on it, but also a really wide writing surface. And so um, here we go. I'm going to jump right in and probably talk a little bit fast because I don't want this to be a ridiculously long video. You're going to hear me go through lots of different personal stories because most of the things that you see here are uh, very personal to me. I don't really buy decorative things for the sake of decorating. Um, and uh, there might be some awkward video moments because I'm kind of filming this on a mini tripod here. So here we go. Um, so that's the desk and the chair. My bookshelf is right there where you'll see a majority of my journals and such. I think I'll do a separate video on that one. And then most of my craft supplies actually sits on this Ikea Rascog cart, but it's mostly empty because all of that's packed now. Um, I have my violin sitting right there. Got a wire basket where I normally keep some yarn and such and then a waste basket right there. So that's the general setup. And then that is my artwork. So you can see the Monet painting right there. It's one of my favorites. And I actually got that print in New York when I took a trip with my grandmother uh, when I graduated uh, middle school. That was her gift to me. It was a grandma-granddaughter uh, trip over to the East Coast. So we got to tour a lot of uh, different states there. So that was really special to me. And so I have really fond memories of going to the art museum with my grandmother and buying that print. Um, I've got the ampersand, that was actually from my wedding, so it was uh, tied between my husband and I, my chair, so it was like Mr. and Mrs. And then I've got um, different kinds of quotes. These are Jane Austen quotes that a lovely viewer sent me. And then I have, that's a vintage bunny postcard that a pen pal once sent me, that's the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris that I took on our honeymoon, honeymoon photo, honeymoon photo, and um, so I like to change that out. That little wire hanger is actually from the container store, so I thought that was a fun way for me to kind of change things out without actually having a big dedicated pin board, which is what I used to have. Uh, the light, very not with the desk theme, that's just kind of like a temporary fix right now. So when I move, I think I'm actually going to change that out. The general theme of my desk, if you have not watched my videos or seen my Instagram, it is very Jane Austen inspired. I like a lot of old things. And so I try to keep it to that theme. And so right over here, I do keep, oh, I currently have my tea sitting there. It's actually, 
this one right here, the Downton Abbey English Rose Tea, in case you are wondering. It's caffeine-free, and it's really, really good if you like a very subtle, fruity tea, and it has this really nice purple uh, color, which is really cool, a purple-red color. So right in front of that light, I have a candlestick. This is actually a pair. I keep the other one out in the living room. And then currently I have my Victorian handbook, so I'm journaling in that, and then my 10th anniversary Traveler's Notebook tin, which I like to keep in here. I don't really have much stowing in there. Um, and then you'll see bits of nature everywhere. That's a pottery barn, maybe? from a few seasons ago. It's a pottery barn, kind of egg cup, but I use it to house pieces of nature and little glass bottles. Um, and there's like a bottle of ink right there. This container is from Costco and it was perfect because I needed a little cup to hold all my mini scissors. I use these a lot for cutting washi. I use all of them too. So it's just sometimes when I'm going to a cafe or something, I'll grab a pair and just put into my pen case and so this is really handy to just keep them all in one place. I've got my teapot, my bear stamps. I really don't know where I'm putting those right now but I like to have them out because I use them quite a bit now that I've gotten them. And then I've got a postcard. I'm really feeling the Victorian thing right now so that's kind of just everywhere. And this right here is actually a little terrarium that I got while thrifting a while back. Um, I think after we first moved here. And it houses all my washi. So that's in there. And then I think I'm gonna set you guys down. So that way you can get a close up of the contents here. More nature, I love egg shaped rocks, crystals and such. Um, this is Jane Austen. I've got Pride and Prejudice and Sanditon. This actually I brought back from my last trip to England, so that's very special to me. Some blank notebooks, and I get a lot of questions about this one, the Field Notes Workshop Companion. This is a great set. I haven't really found a use for it. I have some ideas which I might actually start utilizing, but it's a really cool set of notebooks. It's a set of six, so if you're into Field Notes, that's a great one to look into. This is actually, I think, a cologne bottle that my grandfather didn't want anymore, so he gave it to me. And uh, this is the Traveler's Notebook uh, brass pencil case, which I keep all my dip pens in. A cigar box, which I use to keep stationary items. I think I'll actually do a separate video of all the different contents um, inside these boxes to keep this video shorter. This is a notebook, just another mini notebook with different kinds of paper on the inside. And then I've got another crystal. This is a smoky quartz and a box of matches with mushrooms on them because you guys know I love mushrooms. As you can see, I've got glass mushrooms kind of throughout the house. Um, these were from Christmas a long time ago and I just decided to keep them out because I really like them. Bottle of ink. Um, a wax seal there. These glass bottles are really fun. I actually, if you follow me on Instagram, I just posted recently a video where I was in Port Townsend and they had a display where I think some local person just dives or digs up glass bottles and just, there's like an honor system. He sets them out. There's a little box. You put $2 in for each bottle and so I grabbed a few. And these are like one of my favorite souvenirs from travel in general because, I don't know, it just really adds personality to my desk and I really, really like it. Over here, this uh, little letter slot, is that what it's called? It used to be um, something that you can just put in your doorway, that's what it looks like and it swings open for a mailbox, I'm assuming. This and this right here actually came from a flea market in Wisconsin, Elkhorn. So if you're from there, you'll kind of know what it is. It's a really big flea market that happens all throughout summer. One of my favorite places to go thrifting. So if you're in that area and you are looking for a good flea market, 
that is a good one to check out. There is a vendor there that um, I, I like to frequent when I'm there and I kind of bundled those two together. So this um, is a nice, really cool letter holder that I've had for years. And I have, I think these are Kate Spade. This is a Kate Spade telegram notepad, some vellum envelopes from Oblation Papers, postcards from um, England, my last trip there, that's Bath right there. And these cool Midori Ziploc bags that my brother back, brought back from me from his last trip to Hong Kong. And that kind of just sits pretty right there. Got clear crystal here, an egg-shaped uh, glass thing. I actually got that from, I think it's called Watson and Kennedy or Kennedy and Watson. It's a local like home goods store here in Seattle, which is really, really pretty and um, kind of goes with the egg theme. A really cool teacup and saucer that I thrifted a while back. And over here, that pencil cup, I think is actually supposed to be a votive holder. I got that from Anthropology last year and I've got some black wing pencils, uh, my favorite pens and lead holders from my design days, like when I studied interior design. And also some really cool vintage pencil lead holders that um, were my dad's from back when he studied engineering. So that kind of sits right there in that cup. And then my cup of water, a traveler's notebook. Oops, sorry. I'm like struggling with the camera and this tripod. So um, usually my traveler's notebook and all of that will kind of sit in the middle right of the table. And then to my left side, I will have my uh, superior labor pen case right there. Oh my God, this is not the ideal situation for filming with the camera work. And then on the left side right here, I keep most of my frequently used washi. So this is actually, both of these are actually from Target. These are bathroom organizers, I believe, which I've decided to just turn into washi storage. And so everything I use kind of sits in these right here. I, I switch these out quite often with what I'm currently using. And so those are the ones that I'm using right now. Some frequently used stamps right here. Um, glue sticks. This is a mint case that I actually use to hold cartridges and cartridges. And um, I did have converters in there, but I think I keep them in a different case now because it got a little full. And then I'm trying to use up this distress stain because it's kind of getting a little funky on the inside. But that's my favorite color, the... Uh, Shaded Lilac by Tim Holtz. And then I have a... I kept this out right over here because I have a project in mind for this. So I found that while well, thrifting. That just sits right there. And right over here, this is really cool. I really like this one because it opens up. If I can kind of shimmy this open with one hand opens up like that. So there's quite a bit of uh, washi uh, storage that you can get in this. And I think they still sell this at Target. I think it was like $20. But it works out perfectly because you can fit in quite a bit of washi. You can just take this wherever you want. And it just sits on a table really nicely. I've got lots of like different Traveler's Notebook Midori stickers. The ones in the rolls I cut down so they take up less space and just stuck them in there. And then I've got some Tim Holtz film there. And what I like about this storage is because of the front two compartments here, this holds all of my seals. This is a Game of Thrones one. I've got a couple Chinese ones that I have to have my name carved into. And that all fits perfectly in there. And then this is for all of my date stamps, which I use quite a bit. 
And so those just kind of fit perfectly right there. Oh, and then I have an amethyst tucked back here. And I don't know if I mentioned that's a pillbox from my first trip to England. That was my honeymoon. So I have really fond memories of that. And then finally on the left side here, the way left side, this actually pulls out. Both sides of the desk have these panels that pull out for extra storage or if you want to put coffee table books or something in there. And this is the one that I usually have open. And it's got my Chinese calligraphy set. In case you've never seen one, I'll open it up and give you a peek inside. This is one that I got when I was in China the last time. And so I really like that. I don't use it because I don't know how to write Chinese, but I'm a lover of writing instruments and I just really wanted to have something that was part of my culture. And then I have antique gloves here. Um, I was born in a different, <laughs> I really should have been born in a different time period because these gloves actually fit me like a glove. Um, and so I sometimes actually do wear them in the uh, colder months, like in the winter. And then this tin is actually an old tin from like them, like for moon cakes. And I keep, should I bother opening it? All my sticker flakes in there. Um, doesn't really bother me that they're not organized in a different category. And then these are all my die cuts. So I have smaller die cuts in this cigar box here. And then I keep the larger ones in this cigar box. So and that just kind of sits right there for easy access. And that is my desk. If you're wondering if I normally keep this as neat as it is or if I cleaned it up specifically for this video, I am a neat freak. I, I tend to like my, uh, my desk looking nice uh, when I'm not using it. The only messes you'll see on it is when I'm actually journaling. Um, otherwise, I do use the surface for other things too, so that's why I do like to have everything in its place. And so, I hope that satisfies your curiosity of what I keep on my desk and near my desk. Like I said, I will be doing a separate video of kind of what specifically I keep in all these different boxes and in my drawer right here. And a separate video of everything that's on that shelf. Just mainly all my journals. So stay tuned. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope the camera work didn't uh, make you nauseous. And please leave any comments or questions below. I will definitely try to get back to you. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye!